How's it going? Welcome to Virgineers. I'm Nick. And look for review, we've got a beer from the mighty Beak. Um, and this is Olo, a double IPA. Um, and it says that it's brewed with KB, KCBC, yeah? So that's in collaboration with. Um, and it says that they're an East Coast brewery. So, and it says that it's thick, bright yellow and saturated with Citra, Motueka, Nelson, Ruwaka and Galaxy. Okay, I'm not going to read the bottom tasting notes, at least until not to the end. I want to get my own take on it. Interesting candies on from Beak. Normally they are, it's like a white can. But they've gone for the sort of the minimalist and just like a little, just little two small stickers on either side. Interesting. I wonder if that's um, in homage to KCBC, whoever they are, over on the East Coast, I don't know. Brewed with barley, oats and wheat. It's it's brewed, so okay, so it's in collaboration with KCBC, but it's actually brewed at at Beak's uh, place. I think they're Kent, aren't they? Lou's. Is that Kent? South Coast. <clears throat> Let's find out what it's like. Okay, so that looks the bollocks. It's thick, it's borderline luminous, finger of white head, despite the aggressive pour, nose. Oh. Funky, feety, dank is what I'm getting off that. Tropical undertone as well. Oh. Now, I know I'm going to love this. Whether I pick up all the the stuff that they're saying, the tasting notes, I don't know. Sometimes with the dank beers, for me, that just dominates. It just saturates my palate and I can't taste anything else. I love it, but I don't get anything else. Anyway, let's see. Chin chin. Oh, yeah. My palate's just saturated with dank, feety. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. So there is a tropical note to it, but then you've got this savoury, herbal, fried garlicky dank going through. I've not really experienced that in Beak before. Normally I only get it with, um, used to get it with Daya when they were in their, in their prime. Get it with Verdant. But um, yeah. Not had it with beak. So I am getting tropical. I'm getting pineapple, passion fruit, that sort of thing. But the the savoury dank just dominates. But for me, I love that. Um, surprisingly, it's lighter body than it looks. It's very smooth. The body's nice, but it's lighter body than it looks. The sweetness, just about right. Any, any sweeter and it'd be a bit cloying, but it's not, it's great. So what do they say about it then? They say that it's a reminiscent of mango, yes. Orange, no, grapefruit, candied pear, yeah. Although, I come to it at the end. So if you've had pear drops, where you get almost like a, a herbal alcohol note, yeah, because there's esters, I think that's the, 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 the term. Um, esters are the chemical compounds that give you that sort of pear flavour. Definitely, yeah, that's really, really coming through. Um, but it took the tasting notes to pick that out, pear. Not getting any orange, not getting any grapefruit, but I'm getting a lot of sort of pear drops. It doesn't mention the, the savoury dank, but I'm getting that. No hint of alcohol. I mean, pff, danger juice. I really, really like that. 
I'm going to give that eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten for Olo Double IPA. It is still available. I got it from First Club. I think it was about six fifty. It's actually cheaper from First Club than it is from their own website. Weirdly enough, um, but um, I think it's six fifty. Might be a little bit more, but I think it's six fifty. But if it's if it's seven quid, it's worth it. Basically, that's a, that's an easily seven quid double IPA. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.